Let's learn English. Welcome to Exploring English with Elise. English is fun and exciting. Words, phrases, and sentences are captivating. Vocabulary and grammar are interesting. The universal language is amazing. Let's learn English. Welcome to Exploring English with Elise. Oh! <laughs> Hello, kids! That girl is Elise, a grade 3 pupil. She loves reading a lot. Her grandmother gave her a storybook. Unknowingly, the book is magical that will bring her to many discoveries as she explores the world of English. Huh? What is happening to my favorite English book? You? I'm Gina. That is Gina, a character from the magical book of Elise. She will help and guide Elise in her explorations in English. You came from my favorite English book? How did it happen? That's because of you, Elise. Your imagination brought me to life. Really? Is this a dream? No, Elise, it's true. From now on, I will be your learning buddy. Is that okay with you? Of course, it is. I'm excited to be learning with you, Gina. Me too. Gina, I want to show you something. Um, where is that? I am looking for the pillow my mother gave me last Christmas. It's missing. What kind of pillow is that? It's the small one. Mm. Oh, the little pillow? Little? Gina, I didn't say little. I said small. It's the small one. <laughs> small and little are just the same, Elise. Huh? Is that so? Small and little are the same? Hmm. Yes, Elise. Those words mean the same thing. Oh, I see. Oh, there you are. I found my favorite pillow, Gina. I found it under the big pillow. That's good, Elise. You appreciate and value the things that you receive. Elise, this pillow is big, while this one that your mother gave you is small. Small and big, on the other hand, are opposite words. The meaning of small is in total contrast of the word big. Do you know what the words with the same meanings and the words with the opposite meanings are called? What are those, Gina? To know them, just watch and listen carefully. Hello, Elise. Hi, kids. I'm Teacher Joyce Villar. I will be your teacher guide for today's English exploration. 
Come and join me as we discover words with the same and opposite meanings. Look at these pictures. Can you tell how these two characters feel? Great job! The first word is happy and the second picture is glad. Now, let us use these words in sentences. Can you join me in reading? Patrick was happy when he received a new toy car. The underlined word is happy, which means to show pleasure or a feeling of pleasure. In the sentence, Patrick shows pleasure because of his new toy car. Now, let us look at this sentence. Patrick was glad when he received a new toy car. In this sentence, the word glad is used instead of the word happy. Kids, will the meaning of the sentence change? What do you think? That's right. The meaning will not change because the word glad is the same as the word happy. They both mean to show pleasure or a feeling of pleasure. Kids, the words happy and glad are examples of synonyms. What are synonyms? Synonyms are words that have the same meaning. Synonyms can be used in place of each other in a sentence without changing the overall meaning of the sentence. This is because both words have the same meaning. Patrick was happy. Patrick was glad. Patrick was happy is the same as Patrick was glad because happy and glad have the same meaning. Look at this pair of sentences. Elise closes the door. Elise shuts the door. The first sentence used the word closes or the base word close. And the second sentence used the word shut or the base word shut. Kids, the meaning of the sentence will not change even if we use the word close or shut because close and shut are synonyms. They both mean to prevent entrance or passage. Here are more examples of words that have the same meanings. Read the synonyms with me as they are flashed. Pretty beautiful. Rosie is pretty. Rosie is beautiful. Pretty and beautiful both mean pleasing or being pleasant. Angry, mad. He got angry this morning. He got mad this morning. Angry and mad both mean feeling or showing anger. Sad, lonely. Marie is sad because she misses her grandmother. Marie is lonely because she misses her grandmother. Sad and lonely both mean feeling unhappy or not happy. Baby, infant. The baby is cute. The infant is cute. Baby and infant both mean young person or newborn. Welcome to Exploring English with Elise. Welcome to Exploring English with Elise. Now, let's read the pairs of synonyms again. Join me in reading, kids. Synonyms. Happy, glad. Pretty, beautiful. Sad, lonely. Close, shut. Angry, mad. 
baby, infant. Now, let's read the pairs of synonyms again. Join me in reading, kids. Synonyms, happy, glad, pretty, beautiful, sad, lonely, close, shut, angry, mad, baby, infant. Now that you know what synonyms are, let me show you another pair of pictures. Look at the first picture. What can you say about the water inside the kettle? Great job! The water inside the kettle is hot. What about the water in the second picture? What can you say about it? Amazing! The water inside the glass is cold. Read the pair of words. Fantastic! Hot, cold. Kids, you have learned in your science subject that there are hot and cold things. The water in the first picture is boiling, so it is hot. When something is hot, it shows a high temperature. On the other hand, the water in the second picture has ice, so it is cold. The cold is the opposite of hot. When something is cold, it shows a low temperature. Hot and cold are antonyms. Antonyms are words that have opposite meanings. When we say opposite, the words are totally contrasting, are different from one another. We could also say that opposite in meaning means differently. With this, we can say that hot is the opposite of cold. Here are more examples of antonyms. Dry, wet. Maxine used an umbrella to keep herself dry from the rain. Nixie has no umbrella, so she got wet from the rain. Dry and wet are opposite in meaning. The word wet means being soaked with liquid, like water. Dry means being free from liquid. Big, small. The elephant is big. The rat is small. Big and small are opposite in size. What is the size of the elephant? Amazing! Big! What is the size of the rat? Awesome! Small! The words big and small are antonyms. Sad, happy. Krista is sad. Tommy is happy. Sad and happy are opposite emotions. Kids, what if you lost your favorite toy? What will you feel? Yes, you will feel sad. Of course, what if you won in the contest? Or your mother bought you a new pair of shoes? What will you feel? Definitely, you will feel happy. The word sad and happy are antonyms. Join me as I read the pairs of antonyms again. Let's start. Antonyms. Hot, cold. Wet, dry. Big, small. Sad, happy. Kids, when we use antonyms to replace a word in a sentence, it will change the meaning because the words are different or opposite in meaning. Now, let us have a recap of the lesson. Join me in reading. 
Synonyms are words that have the same meanings. Antonyms are words that have opposite or different meanings. Fantastic! It's now time to test your learning. Brace yourselves and show what you've got! Can you help Elise find the synonym of the given word inside the apple? Guide her in choosing the correct word from the set of leaves. Get ready! Number 1. Give the synonym of the word easy. Hard, bright, simple. Excellent! The synonym of the word easy is simple. Easy and simple are synonyms. Number two, find the synonym of the word speak. Talk, run, laugh. Incredible! You got it right! The correct answer is talk. Speak and talk are also synonyms. Number three, select the word that has the same meaning as start, end, finish, begin. Wonderful! Begin has the same meaning as start. Start and begin are synonyms. Now, it's time to check your knowledge on antonyms. Elise is confused because the letters are jumbled in the basketball. Can you help her arrange the letters to form the antonym of the word in the net? Great! Let's start and show what you've got. Number one, find the antonym of the word dirty. Arrange the letters inside the ball. What word did you form? Impressive! The antonym of the word dirty is clean. Dirty and clean are antonyms. Number two. What word has the opposite meaning of the word strong? Arrange the letters in the ball. What word did you form? Wow! You got it! The antonym of the word strong is weak. Strong and weak are antonyms. Number three. Find the antonym of the word poor from the jumbled letters in the ball. What antonym did you form? Well done! The antonym of the word poor is rich. That was outstanding. That's a great teamwork with Elise. Welcome to Exploring English with Elise. Welcome to Exploring English with Elise. Can you identify antonyms and synonyms now? Yes, Gina. Antonyms are opposite in meaning, while synonyms mean the same. Awesome! What is that? Oh, it's time for... Word, Word of, of the, the day. day! Every time we meet Elise, the book will flush a word regarding the knowledge you should learn. Ooh. 
Can you read the word, Elise? Choir. Nice try, Elise. But it is read as choir, not choir. This word is an example of word that is read differently or they do not have their usual sounds. But isn't it that letters have their sounds and when put together, a word is formed? Um, like the word bed. It's spelled as B-E-D. When put together, it's bed. But the word choir is an exemption. Huh? Gina, why is it pronounced like that? Like I've said, Elise, there are words that we read differently or their letters do not have their usual sounds. These words are called irregularly spelled words. Mm. Do you want to learn more about them? Yes, please, Gina. Hi, kids. I'm back for another learning for you. Join me as we explore irregularly spelled words. But before that, let's first talk about words which all the letters in it represent their most common sounds. These are called regularly spelled words. Look at the picture. Can you identify what it is? Awesome! The first picture is bed. Bed is spelled as B E D. The sound of B is B. The sound of E is E. And the sound of D is D. When the sounds of B, E, D are put together, it will form the word bed. Here is another picture. Can you name it? Great job! This is a picture of a cat. Cat is spelled as C-A-T. The sound of C is K. The sound of A is A. And the sound of T is T. When the sounds of K, A, T are put together, it will form the word cat. Let's look at this another picture. What do you see? Amazing! This is a picture of a dog. Dog is spelled as D-O-G. The sound of D is D. The sound of O is O. And the sound of G is G. When the sounds of D, O, G are put together, it will form the word dog. Remember, kids, words which all the letters in it represent their most common sounds are called regularly spelled words. Examples of regularly spelled words are bed, cat, and dog. Can you say the names again? Wonderful! Now, I will show you another picture. This is a picture of a church. Let me hear you spell the word church. Incredible! Church is spelled as C-H-U-R-C-H. -H. Now, let's give the sound of each letter. The sound of C is K. The sound of H is H. The sound of U is A. The sound of R is R. The sound of C is K. And lastly, the sound of H is H. Now, I will say the word again. Church. Kids, did you hear the sound of each letter in the word? That's right. Not all the sounds of each letter in the word church were heard or sounded. When the word church was read, you will not hear the sound of C, 
H and the short vowel sound of U. They do not have their usual sounds or the letters are not sounded at all. That's why the word is read differently. Therefore, the word church is an example of an irregularly spelled word. Irregularly spelled word is a word that is spelled differently to the way it sounds because some of its letters do not have their usual sounds. Irregularly spelled words are read differently and are sometimes difficult to spell. So we have to remember what letters they are composed of. Like I have said, the word church is an example. Welcome to Exploring English with Elise. Welcome to Exploring English with Elise. Let's take a look at another example of an irregularly spelled word. What do you see? Awesome! It's a book! Spell the word book. Book is spelled as B-O-O-K. Let's give the sound of each letter. The sound of B is B. The sound of O is O. The sound of O is O. And the sound of K is K. Now, I will say the word again. Book. Did you hear the sound of each letter in the word? That's right. The sound of O can't be heard. So, the word book is also an example of irregularly spelled word. Here are other examples. Join me as I read the words. Bread, flower, and wreath. Some of the letters in them do not have their usual sounds or they are not sounded at all. Now that you know what irregularly spelled words are, it's time to show what you got. Help Elise name the pictures and spell the words. Here is the first picture. Incredible! It is an island. It is spelled as I S L A N D. Say the word again, kids. Awesome! Island. Take a look at the second picture. That was great! It is a monkey. It is spelled as M-O-N-K-E-Y. Say the word again. Amazing! Monkey. Here is the third picture. Fantastic! It is the planet Earth. It is spelled as E-A-R-T-H. Kids, say the word again. Very good! Earth! That was awesome, kids! You were able to name the pictures. Island monkey and earth are irregularly spelled words. Here are more examples of irregularly spelled words. Mother, friend, night. What a wonderful day of learning! Thank you kids for joining me as we explore the wonderful world of English. Once again, I'm Teacher Joyce Villar. Have a great day! 
Do you know now what an irregularly spelled word is, Elise? Yes, Gina. Irregularly spelled words are words that are spelled differently to the way they sound because some letters do not have their usual sounds. Sometimes, they are challenging to be spelled. That's great! Thank you, Gina. I learned so much today. You're welcome, Elise. Um, let's do pillow fight. <laughs> but I will play with this. Uh, I thought I lost it. This is my most precious pillow, Gina. It's from my mother. It is good that you value what your parents gave you, Elise. Or even if it came from someone else. It is a good way of showing appreciation for them as well. Keep it up, Elise. I will. <laughs> Elise, time for snacks. Come downstairs. Oh, that's my mom, Gina. She's calling me. Okay, gotta go. See you next time, Elise. See you next time, Gina. Learn English. Welcome to Exploring English with Elise. English is fun and exciting. Words, phrases, and sentences are captivating. Vocabulary and grammar are interesting. The universal language is amazing. Learn English. Welcome to Exploring English with Elise. Kids, learn to appreciate the things that people give you. Taking care of these things is also showing your appreciation for them. As the saying goes, it's not the gift but the thought that counts. Always say thank you when someone gives you a gift. Have a great day. Bye!